Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own chatbot with only seven lines of code. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so this is my Python file. Now, before we begin programming in our Python file, we just need to make sure we know what is a chatbot. According to Wikipedia, a chatbot or chatterbot is a software application used to conduct an online chat conversation via text or text to speech. Okay, now that my question is answered, we can begin programming. So the first thing we need to do is Im is install Chatterbot. Now the reason why we're installing Chatterbot is because Chatterbot is what we're going to be using to program our Python chatbot. So we're just going to say pip install install uh, chatter chatterbot, and then we're also going to specify the version. So I just want to put it at version. 1.0.4 and then after that it uh, says requirement already satisfied because i already downloaded it but now that you downloaded it we can continue to our programming so then the first things we're going to do is import it so just say from chatterbot chatterbot import and we're going to import a uh, chat a uh, chatbot and then next we're gonna create a variable called bot now we're gonna create a variable called bot and then after that inside bot we're just gonna put chatbot that's all now uh inside chatbot open and close parentheses we're gonna put here um our name for our chatbot so let's just say cool 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 bot dude Sounds cool, right? Okay, now that we created our bot, we can move on. Next, um, also, I forgot to explain, line, on line three, bot is equal to chatbot, uh, open close parentheses, cool, cool bot dude. This, what it's doing here is creating a new, uh, is creating a new, a new instance of, of a new chatbot. So what's doing is creating a new instance of a class and making this also a chatbot named cool bot dude. So it's making it think of it as making an instance of a chatbot. So next we're gonna do a while loop, while true. And inside this while tree, what we're going to do here is create is create a is actually create so is where we're going to put where the we're going to ask put a prompt there where the we can ask the user what it wants to tell the robot. And then after that, it will get the what the response was and then it shows it to the robot or just like that or whatever. So what we're going to do here is just put uh, X is equal to uh, bot bot dot get response and then after that put input input control open close parentheses uh quotation mark uh, double quotation marks and then uh and then arrow greater than a great a symbol here and then a space next um what this is generally doing is asking the user first asking the user prompt what it wants to type in right here and then next, it's going to get the response of what we typed into it. And then the robot is going to decide what response it's going to give back to the user. And it's going to be stored inside X. So we have to print X in order for the player, the person to see it. Now that we did that, we can, well, pat ourselves on the back. Off. We just made our first chatbot. Pat yourselves on the back. And remember, give myself a chat, give my channel a subscribe and a like on this video. Okay, so all we have to do next is cl click run without debugging and this will run our chatbot. Next, we can begin chatting with our chatbot. Just say hello as for starters. Simple saying. And I'll say hi there. And then so on your computer, it might just say hello or just say hi. Now, um, just a reminder, this is a self-learning chatbot. It doesn't learn from... Um, given queries like it's self-learning it knows um it knows 
it uh, self learns and it learns from you the more that you chat from it so it's like hello and if we give it like how are you it'll it will learn that saying and then sooner or later the more you ask sooner or later it'll save that into its system and it'll ask you too sooner and it'll say how how are you so um this robot is already trained this uh, chatbot is already trained that's why it's saying no i'm the pot below the plant and it will say hi there and stuff like that so this robot is already trained and stuff like that but on your computer you're gonna need to train it so you can begin chatting with it chatting it chatting it and if you're wondering if uh, when you close it will all the data from the chatbot won't be saved well it will be saved on an SQL database that is on your computer. The moment you run this, it will create a, a SQL database. And then all the sayings and all the phrases will be saved there even if you close this out. It will still remember all, all of the memory and the data. So just say, hello, and it will still say, uh, hi there. Easy, right? So that's basically how to make your chatbot. And before we go, I just want to make sure um, if you want to learn more about chatterbots stuff, I recommend you checking out the documentation. I left a link down below for the documentation. And now that's probably most of our video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Wow!